previous class we have learned about the, the herbs. There are different types of plants that are herbs, shrubs, and and trees. Yes, what are herbs? I told you very small plants are called herbs. What are shrubs? The shrubs which are not so high. They are and uh, medium height. They are called shrubs. And the very big or uh, very tall plants are called the trees. Yes, we have studied also about the stem. Yes, from the stem is the first part of a tree. Great. With that stem, you can get so many branches. Now let us go um, with the uh, leaf. Next part, let us go continue with the leaf. Other part of the plant. The other part of the plant here. Yes, here. <coughs> leaf. The edge of the leaf of some plants around you are you and draw them in your notebook. Are all leaves of same size, shape and color? Yes. How are the leaves attached to them? The part of leaves by them by which is attached to the stem is called the petiole. Good. So here now we are telling all the leaves. You find so many leaves in your surrounding. All the leaves are of same size? No. Some are long, some are short, some are round, some are wide, some are thin, some are fat. Yes. Like they differ from in size and shape and color. Yes, here. All these plants, all these leaves are, are attached to the stem. Yes, leaves are attached to the stem. If you think this is the stem, for example. These are roots. Yes, here. The tree is between big or it is having so many. From the stem only, so we are finding branches. Yes, from the stem only we are finding branches. So the branches, which the part where this branch is starting, this part is called the petiole. What? It is called the petiole. Petiole. P e t i p e t i o l e. Yes, the broad green part of the leaf is called the the broad green part of the leaf is called the lamina. Okay. The broad part of the plant. Yes. You can see here in this figure 7.8. The stem you can see there. The prote proteol you can see. Lamina is the broad. Leaf is the leaf is the This part, the broad part, this broad part is called the lamina. Lamina. Okay. Yes. This is the stem thing, for example. And this where the stem this part is called the yes, this is the stem making. Let us see, let us get to know the leaf better by taking its impression. If you thought that leaves cannot sign, here is another activity which which it will make you think again. Okay, so now let us uh, learn more about the leaf. Okay, now activity number three. Activity number three, we have put a leaf under a white sheet of paper or a sheet in your notebook. He said you to do an activity to know this. Eh? Okay, so, uh, now you take a leaf, you put it uh, you know, on a paper, uh, on a white sheet, white sheet, okay, uh, or a sheet in your notebook, hold it on the place as shown in the figure and 7.9. Hold your pencil at tip side way and, and <coughs> rub it on the portion of the paper having a leaf below. Did you get an impression with some kinds leaf? They are similar to those on the leaf. So when you take the leaf down, you put a white paper, okay? On that you take a pencil, uh, the back part of the pencil and you rub where is the leaf. Leaf a little leaf man under the under the leaf one that is not leaf man is the line cell and under the ah under paper man leaves man under paper man under ah leaves man under the line cell and under paper man under print under transfer. These lines of the view on the leaf are called beads. So under man under different types of lines transfer in some some lines are like the woolly lines, the linen lines under paper man under more than. You know, you know, the matter of carbonate, matter of carbonate, lavender, dry leaf, it matter, paper, it matter, pencil, backside, and you might have my name, tip of the pipe, backside, the front, the back color, the mother, and put him on, you know, a very good lacana. A very good country, you know, the 
are called the veins. What they are called? They are called the veins. Yes, got it? Yes. Do you know the prominent line in the middle of the lips? This is called the midrip. So here there is a prominent line here. In the middle of the lip there is a line. That line is called the midrip. Or it is called in the middle part of the uh, leaf is having a line. That line is called the midrip. <coughs> The design made by the veins in the leaf is called the leaf indentation. So the design, no, you find you find a beautiful design here on the leaf. That the design part is there, or the uh, that is called the leaf indentation. So in, if this design is not like on both sides of the midrib, the ventilate indentation is rectilinear. So in these leaves of grass, you might have seen that veins are parallel to one another. So in some leaves you can find the uh, these lines are parallel. These lines are parallel. So the lines which are parallel, they are called the parallel plantation. What they are called? Parallel plantation. Absorb the plantation as many leaves as you can without removing from the can. So draw the pattern and in the right. You can see here the, in the figure they have given the veins and also they have given the midrib. Yeah. Name some of the plants having rectulum and a parallel plantation. Shall we find out some of the leaves? Some of the functions of the leaves. So, what are the functions here? Yes, our body, you know, our body is functioning so many uh, functions. Like that, this leaf, what function is it doing? Let us see in the activity number 4. We will require a herb uh, to, to transplant uh, polythene bags and a thread. So, to do this activity, we, we require a herb, yes, a herb to uh, transplant polythene paper bags and a thread. Yes. Do you do this activity during the daytime on a sunny day? Okay. Use a healthy, well wetted, well watered fan that has been growing in, in the sun. So he is telling you to do this activity in the daytime huh? on a sunny day. He is telling you to take a very healthy tree, okay, well well watered. Cars need near where you are, there are near half the plant to go to which is in the sun to take that leaf for this experiment, for this activity. And close a leaf branch of the plant in a polythene cover and tie up it with the mouth as shown in the figure. So it's telling on the on the small mag in the branch and the branch to go to the leaf will cover. Okay, these leaves are there. This part of the leaf you have to uh, put it in a polythene bag. One plastic cover haki or plastic cover in the tie mark. Small tip of the herb plant in the Togundo, Togundara, Yazar Ale. Okay, and the Togundo plastic cover has the cover. Yes. Okay. What makes the water appear on the polythene bag? So, other than the Togundar, the water go, you have to leave it in the sun for some time. So, here, after few hours, observe the inner surface cover. What do you see? Are there any droplets of water? How do you think they got there? Don't forget to remove the polythene bag after the activity. So, activity was the polythene cover cut in a sort of bit on the one hour and bit to amela polythene cover where the name comes to our water drops. Water droplets are plastic cover to the tumble cover. So, we can use that. Yen and the thing that so you after time, sometimes it's telling you to remove the cover. Cover can be cover can be do. Yes. How do you think they got there? Don't forget to use the water comes out of the leaf in the form of vapor by process called transpiration. So you water is going to leave a little clear haki. It is a clear haki, plastic cover cut the butter, then you to fill it. You know, here butter, the plastic cover can be la. Yes, but the water droplets form of the cover. Even if you get the water, water comes from the leaves. The leaves under the root means the water leaves that water. But they can hurt, you can flow from here. So this process is plants again, water root in the leaves in the leaves, water is a key entered in the and got up to the this is a called this process is called a transpiration. Okay. So water is transformed from the root to the leaf. Yeah. Plants release, plants release a lot of water in, in the air through this process. So in the plants in Matawa daily uh, uh, routine. Or water na leaves in the third water. Leaves in the third water be in the form of water. And concern the water droplets, but it is it is giving out water in the form of water vapor. So we will learn more about this in the chapter number 14. Why do we tie a cover around the leaves? 
how would we have seen the water? Yes, uh, evaporation. If we had not tied the polythene, polythene cover that makes the cover appear on the polythene bag. Yes. And where do the water come in that plastic cover? Yes, the tree. The plant is taking water from the root. That water it is uh, uh, giving out out of the leaf in the form of water vapor. Yes. This. What did we tie the cover around the leaves? What would we have seen? Evaporating if we had to tie a polythene cover. Yes. What makes the water vapor on the polythene bag? What makes the water uh, water appear on the polythene bag? In chapter five, we noticed that water changing into different forms in the way of in our activity. So in this chapter number five, we have seen that the water is being changing its form. Yes. Yes. In the form of water vapor. In the form of uh, water, yes, we, and it is the form of uh, ice. So we can see, you can find, we think of these and name the process that makes the water droplets on the polythene cover. Leaves are also have another function, let us study this. Yes, leaves also are doing another function, another type of work of the leaves is what? Let us see this aspect number 5. We would require a leaf spirit and a beaker just to burner water and uh, watch glass and iodine solution for that. So here under an activity is there. In, for this activity we need the, you can see here, a leaf is there, uh, spirit is there, spirit of reno. Huh? Yes, you can see here, uh, a beaker, beaker baker, test tube baker, burner baker, huh? and water, water, a glass watch, glass watch, and iodine solution for this activity. So take a leaf. One leaf the bundle, you uh, leaf in a test tube and pour some water, pour some spirit. So, whether the uh, beaker, whether the spirit to leaf, nega, in a spirit hydrogen. Spirit to completely immerse the leaf. Spirit is another type of a, it is a um, chemical, it is a chemical, yes. Uh, spirit haki, leaf to mungo on the immerse agu on the house to man matter as a spirit hydrogen. Now, have a test tube. Now place the test tube in a, in a beaker, in a beaker half filled with the water. So now this beaker, this test tube, hmm, to put it in a beaker. Beaker is the plastic, the, the glass is the beaker. A beaker is the test tube. Test tube is the 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 Yes. So this test tube is the Leaf haki, other spirit haki, spirit haki, even the beaker rather, a test tube na haki. Yes, now place the test tube in the beaker half filled with water. In the beaker nega half filled with water. Water filled in my beaker. Okay. Heat the beaker till uh, all the green color from the leaf comes out. So in this other that, and the leaf printer to do, other than Heat part, bigger heat part. So leaf comes out in the spirit in the test tube. Take out the leaf carefully and wash it in water. Place it on a watch glass and pour some iron solution over. So what is telling here? Is now he is telling you to heat the um, this beaker until the green color go. Hmm, green color go. What other than a heat part, heat part. Other than a leaf in the tube wash more. Other than glass wash by the hand printer. Put place it on a glass wash glass wash glass and pour some iodine solution. Now let show iodine solution. What do you observe? Compare your observation in those done in the chapter two. When you test food for presence in different nutrients, does it mean that the leaf has started it? This chapter two. Yes, in this chapter two we have tested which which food items have starch, huh? which have uh, nutrients we have checked it. Yes. Now let us see here. In the chapter. Mm. Now, a slice. We, we saw a slice of raw potato gets its starch from these leaves. So, you saw in the leaf. chapter number 2 that uh, potatoes, uh, how there is starch in potatoes. From where this starch comes to the potato? From the leaves. It is being transferred from the leaves. Now, leaves prepare their food in the presence of sunlight and green color substance in them. For this, they, uh, they also use water and carbon dioxide. This process is called photosynthesis. So, the preparation of leaf preparing food by the help of sunlight, water, uh, and 
carbon dioxide, this process is called photosynthesis. So this process is oxygen is given out in this process. When the carbon dioxide is used for making the food, the tree is giving out the carbon dioxide. It is giving out oxygen. Like human beings are taking oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide. These plants are taking carbon dioxide and they are giving out oxygen in the process of photosynthesis. So the food prepared by the leaves ultimately gets stored in different parts of the plant. Now we have seen the stem supplies leaves with water. So who is supplying the leaves, uh, sorry, water to all the parts of the leaves or all the parts of the body uh, plant? The stem is supplying the water. The leaf uses water to make food. Leaves are using water to make their food. The leaves also use their water to transfer. They are also using water and they are also giving out little bit water. That the giving out of water or losing the water is called transpiration. How does the stem and the leaves get water? That is where the roots come in. So now from where does this plant getting water? The stem from where it is getting water? Yes, the stem is getting water from the root. Yes, we are putting water to the root. So water is supplied from the root here. So who do you think watering their plants correctly? Mahindi or Mojo? Why? Now which part of the plant in the soil gets? Let us learn more about a part of the following activity. So now let us learn about the uh, another part of the plant that is the root in the activity number 6. Yeah. Here you would require two pots. For doing this activity we require two pots, some soil, huh? Kurpi, kurpi for digging. Kurpi means what? To dig whatever instrument you are using. That is called kurpi. Yes, blade or a pair of scissors and then water. This blade, this blade or a pair of scissors, this activity is to be done in, in, in a in room of four or five students. So I tell you to do the activity with the four or five persons in one group. Now, now we can't do this group because we are um, you are at home and I am in school. Yes, this can't be done here. So let us do in your house with your help of your elder brother or sisters. Okay, children. Yes. Select two plants. Now he is telling you to do here. What what things he require here? Two pots he require. Some soil. We need, we need an instrument to plant the uh, tree. Sorry for digging. You need a blade and you need a piece, pair of scissors. Yes. Now. He is telling you, select two plants and of same kind. He is telling you to select the two plants of same kind huh? from an open ground. Open ground I mean Tipkum Barbek and the dig them with, without them out with roots. Roots are with the dig mark on the open ground I mean the Tipkum Barbek and the pot and the place mark and the take care of the root do not break. Plant one of them in pot A and cut off the roots from the pot A and cut of the roots from the from the other plant in, in pot B. Now he is telling you to take two plants from the ground. Yes, with the root, don't disturb the root. He is telling you to put it in one pot. Pot A you are putting with root and another part, another tree which you have taken for plant, you cut the root and you place it in that pot B. What will happen? Let us see here. So, Water them regularly. We send you to water them regularly. Absorb the plant after a week or both plants healthy. Are both plants healthy? Now, after one week, we send you to look the plant there. Both the trees are healthy or not? He is asking you. Both the plants are watered regularly, but one is without root, isn't it? Does this activity help us to understand the function of the root? Yes, let us do activity to study another function of the root here now. Another function of the root we send you to. So what is happening? One is having root and one is not having root. So from the root only water is being passed to the stem and that uh, stem is passing it to the uh, leaf. Yes, if that leaf is preparing food. But in the rootless or the, with the plant without root, it is not getting water supply. Yes, yes. now let, let us see another experiment with the uh, study on the function of the root. Another uh, function of a root here, activity number 7. We would require a seed of gram and maize, cotton, wool or a bowl, katori, a bowl and some water. Here what is telling me? 
ಇದು ಮನೆಯನ್ನು ಕಾಳಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಕಿ ಅದು ಮಲಗ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಆ ಟೈಪ್ ಹೇಳಾಕತ್ತಾನೆ ಈಗ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಈ ಸೆಲ್ ಯು ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಎ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೀಸ್ ಕಾಟನ್ ಊಲ್ ಕಾಟನ್ ಊಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎ ಕಟೋಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಮ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಈ ಸೆಲ್ ಯು ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ಸ್ ಬೇರೆ ಕಾಳು ಕಾಳು ತಗೊಂತಾನೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಮೇಸ್ ತಗೊಂತಾನೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಕಾಟನ್ ಊಲ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕಾಟನ್ ಹಸಿದ ತಗೊಂತಾರೆ ಟೇಕ್ ಟು ಕಟೋಲಿಸ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಟು ಕಟೋಲಿಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಬೌಲ್ಸ್ See, uh, place some wet cotton in them. Put two, three or four seeds of grams in another, in one and maize in another. So, he is telling you to put here what he is telling me. Put some wet cotton in them. That do bowls will have wet cotton. Hathi na haakam kaya. Hathi haaki. Yara vandra ga grams haakam kaya. Nuna kaya kaal. Nandra ga maize haakam kaya. In this bowl, keep the cotton wet by sprinkling. sprinkling every day until until the spouts uh, spouts have grown into them plant so in the hatti varaga hakana na nene idu batti varaga nene antara maki kaal varbekandre now adu nene idu tegudana ond arbi varaga kattu but illi ava en helana ond hatti tagondu hatti varaga idraga ondishtu grams hakana inondraga bazra barli sorry bazra hakana okay so nes nes hakana okay ಡೈಲಿ ಆ ಹತ್ತಿನ ಕೃಷಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಡೈಲಿ ಒಂದು ಆ ಹತ್ತಿನ ಕೃಷಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಹಂಗರ ಈ ಸರಿ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಪುಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಒನ್ ವೀಕ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಒನ್ ವೀಕ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ದ ಯಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಕಾಟನ್ ಎಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸಿ ಟು ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ದ ಕಾಟನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ಕಾಟನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಯು ವುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪುಲ್ ಔಟ್ ಅ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ವೈ ವಿ ಡಗ್ ಡಮ್ ಔಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ರೂಟ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಹೋಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಪ್ನಿ ಸೊ ಅದು ಹತ್ತಿ ಒಳಗಿಂದ ನಾವು ಆ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ತೆಗಿ ಬರ್ತಾನೆ ತೆಗ್ಯಾಕ್ ಬರ್ತೈತೆನ ಬರಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕೆ ಹತ್ತಿ ಹಿಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ ಬಿಟ್ಟಿರ್ತೈತಿ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ನ ಹಿಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ ಬಿಟ್ಟಿರ್ತೈತಿ ಸೊ ಇವಾಗ ನಮ್ಗ ಈಸಿ ಆಗಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಹೋಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಒಂದು ಈಗ ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಏನ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗ್ತದೆ ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಇದ್ರು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾವ್ರ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ತೆಗಿ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾವ್ ಹಾ ಬಿಗಿಯಾಗಿ ಹಿಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ತಾವ್ ಸೊ ಬೈ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ರೂಟ್ not only supply water roots function in a function in a plant in a firmly hold mother the function you have seen they are different kind kinds of stems and leaves do the roots also show a variety let us find out so activity number 8 we will do in the next class until then you read this lesson and uh, do do this experiment in your house thank you